Thank you for visiting my channel. In this video you will see the before and after construction of my two-car garage. Also, there is drone video at the end of this video. And this is with the new garage. This is a quick drawing of the floor layout so that you can see the dimensions of the garage. Okay, so part two, the garage. If you haven't seen my uh, first video on the patio and how, I mean, the uh, concrete slab was built, check that out. Right now, the workers just showed up this is day one. As you probably noticed, we are framing the wall. This is the last framed wall to go up. It's the rear wall with the window, and it gets attached to the side of the house. Now we are ready to raise the garage door entrance. It is time to install the rafters with joist hangers.
Okay, this is day two of building that garage. So let's look at the work that we've done so far. <clears throat> Yesterday we had the walls put up, a couple of trusses, <clears throat> so the entrance trusses were done, they have the overhang where these don't because they're going to be part of this roof. These are all put up. We've got our plywood up on these two walls. And as you can see, we've got that one side completed with plywood. Got a couple of windows that need cut out. Let's take a look from this side. So a lot of progress. We've been lucky there's been no rain today because it's been raining for the last seven days. That's Bree, the Great Pyrenees, and there's Cujo. They bark a lot. All right.
Looks like it's time for the building wrap. It's at the end of day two. We've done a lot. The workers have uh, gone home for the night. They'll be back tomorrow. And I believe we're going to do some shingles. But we still have a few more rafters to go. Let's take a look. Still got our doorway here. This is garage bay number one. 24 foot. Garage bay number two. This is 30 foot. Got a window there and a window in the back. Now this part right here, I'm going to design it like that. It won't have the holes. I think I said that earlier, but it will have that design that you see right there. Make it look like it's been there since day one. This house was built in 20, 2012, 5,000 square feet. So we'll check it out tomorrow when we get start working again. Okay, so it's day three. We have the rest of the rafters up and just finishing up with the plywood. Let's take a look inside. Wow, it's really looking good. So today we're yanking the window out and putting the door in and we're adding the lines with the boxes for electrical let's take a look As you can see, insulation goes in today, and sheet rock tomorrow. Also, they did a really good job of sealing up in between the two by fours. The windows. So it's at the end of the day sheetrock showed up got a stack over here also so it's time to do the sheetrock let's see how they doing now
So it's time to put the siding on. It's kind of a concrete siding. Let's see what it looks like. So it's the next day, we do have power. We're waiting on the garage doors. Got the connections here. The big eight foot LED lights are up. And now the garage doors have arrived. I put the paper down before the shingles come in tomorrow. So it's time for the roof. And there are the Great Pyrenees, Cujo, and Brie. This is the end of the day of the paint job. Let's take a look at it. That's existing. 
That's a strange little thing going on up there, but it works. All the paint is complete. The painter's just left. I got my three doggy doors painted up. They're electric, if you remember. Your dog tags will let them in. That is the existing of So the garage is officially completed. We started out with a part one video of the slab. And we've started the first wall. Flat white.